Bullet hell games are fast, frenetic, and chaotic, and normally it comes down to your reflexes and your reaction time. I normally don't associate this genre with the deck building genre because the deck building genre is more methodical and slow paced and strategic. However, a heck deck blends both of these genres together and then puts a roguelike twist on them. Let's get right into it. I really do like the art style of heck deck. It's very simple and it looks like drawings coming off of a notebook page to me and some kid was just scribbling and making up these things as they went. So I really do like the art style and I do like the menu music. It's really fast paced and cartoony and charming and the sound effects definitely get the job done. In heck deck, time moves when you move. So everything pauses when you're not touching the screen. Now you drag your finger on the screen to maneuver your ghost-like character around, and then you have certain cards that you can utilize. Now cards can be healables or abilities, and then they can also be attacks to get rid of enemies. Enemies will also be attacking you in the form of projectiles, and these projectiles are cards. So when you're using your cards, they're used up and you don't have them anymore, and you collect more cards by hitting yourself with those projectiles from your enemies. So you have a heart-based system kind of like in Zelda, and whenever you do get hit by a card, you will lose one heart. However, if that card was a healable, you won't take any damage. When you do get hit with an enemy's projectile, you gain temporary invulnerability, and then you also have a short cooldown before you can utilize another card. So this gives you time to get out of the way of other projectiles and reset in your safe space. I really do like this give and take of using cards and then having to choose when to take a hit and gain another card, and it really makes you pick and choose which cards are going to be the most useful for you in a certain situation, especially when there's multiple enemies on screen with different types of projectiles and attacks. I also like the stop and go nature of this game. It really does blend action and that bullet hell feel with kind of a turn-based strategy or more methodical feel of a deck builder. It's very strange. I've never experienced anything quite like it. However, Heck Deck doesn't feel super fleshed out. It feels like more of an idea or a concept, and there's not a lot of cards to utilize and encounter. There's not a lot of enemy types, and there's not a lot of stages. The game's pretty dang short, so that is unfortunate. My other main gripe with Heck Deck is its controls. Now you slide your finger on the screen and your character follows your finger. However, your finger blocks a lot of the screen, especially in important moments when there's a lot of projectiles on the screen. You might run into one that you didn't see because it's under your finger. Now there is another alternate control mode where it kind of offsets your character or offsets your finger so that your finger's not right on top of your character. But that feels really awkward too, and it really does lose the direction of your character and how you're going left or right whenever you lift your finger off the screen and then place it back on the screen. It's kind of hard to describe, but the controls just do not feel right in this game whatsoever. They get a little bit frustrating when you first start, and then you start getting a little bit better with them, but it never really goes away. Heck Deck is a premium experience available on the App Store for $2.99. Once you buy it, you get everything the game has to offer with no further in-app purchases. Now, I do think this price is a little bit steep for the content that's on offer here, and I would wait for a sale in the future unless the concept of this game really intrigues you. At the end of the day, Heck Deck is a very clever game that provides an experience unlike any other. However, it also feels like a concept or an idea that's not fully fleshed out, and the game's controls are very frustrating, and that frustration never goes away no matter how long you play it. I would wait for a sale on this one unless this game really intrigues you. The links to the game are in the description down below. Alright guys, that was my review for Heck Deck. Don't forget to leave a like, pop a sub, and comment. It really helps out small channels like mine, and I appreciate you guys watching to the end of the video. If you want to see more content from me, check out any of the links in the description down below. I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and take it easy.